This is the practice test for the Algebra 1 intercourse test, uh, the Tennessee intercourse section. This is question number 50. Which values of x make the equation true? There's a couple ways you can actually go about solving this. The first is simply to factor the term, or factor this uh, quadratic. I'm going to write it down below there so I can get a better look at it. Now, since x is already by itself, in order to factor it out, it's really simple. I'm going to look at this sign first, the second sign. If it is a negative, which it is, that means my answer choices are going to be different signs. So I'm going to have x plus something and then x minus something. If it was plus, I'd have both plus or both minus. Now once they're, I know that they're different, that means when I make my factor list for 12 there, I'm going to subtract those factors. So my factor list are 1 and 12. 2 and 6 and 3 and 4. Those are all my factor lists for 12. I'm going to try to find this plus uh, 1x. So what I'm going to look for is what can I subtract to make positive 1? Well 1 minus 12 gives me negative 11. 2 minus 6 gives me negative 4. 3 minus 4 gives me negative 1. But if I go the opposite way, three mi uh, 4 minus 3 does give me that positive 1 I'm looking for. And because I know that 4 minus 3 equals 1, I'm going to put that minus, or the 3 right after the minus, and the 4 right there. So that would work it back out, and you could check it too. So x times x is x squared, plus 4x, minus 3x, 4 minus 3, there's that 1 that I'm looking for. So that works. It all works perfect. Now I just set each one of these equal to 0. And to get rid of minus 3, I'm going to add 3. So x equals 3 and I'm going to subtract 4, that whole gimmick. So my answer should be negative 4 and 3, which is G here. Sorry, I can't see it. Negative 4 and 3, so my answer is G. A much easier way to go about it, I mean, if you forget how to do it that way or you just don't want to take the time, you can substitute. The thing about math is it has to make truth statements, and it would be true that these uh, should be plugged in and make 0 if it, makes it to, uh, if it says that it's true. Or it says that it's true, so I'm trying to figure out if it is or not. If it's a lie, then that's not the right answer. So let's try uh, negative 6. The only thing you're going to have to think about if you use this, which is a version of substitution, is just to make sure that you put a parenthesis around where the x's are. So I'm going to do parentheses negative 6, close the parentheses before you square it. See how it makes 18? That means it's not 0, which is what it needs to be to make it true, so that's out. So let's try our actual answer choices. That gives you zero, just like it's supposed to. I just plugged in negative four from my choice into this, and then got zero. So let's try three, just to make sure that it's right. Because they both have to work, otherwise it doesn't make any sense. And I got zero as well. So both those answers, when plugged in, equal zero, which means it's true, and that means it's the correct answer. The reason that you have to put it in parentheses is because of the negative four there. When I square a negative number, if I try negative four and just square it, it gives me negative 16. But when I'm plugging in that negative four, I need to put the square, or the square on the outside to make it positive 16. So be very careful about what you keep in parentheses and what you don't. And that's it.